All right, it's the 29th of May. It's actually been a couple years since I've actually updated on my Almofofalis collection. And I've actually sold off probably more than half of my collection because I had a ton of seedlings. I think there was like 62 seedlings or something. And I basically had to sell them off just because I had way too many and I couldn't have that many pots. And it's just be way too many plants because I already have hundreds of plants in my yard. And I really can't keep up with watering so many. But one reason, another reason, because the uh, reason why I try to sell so many is because I like to sell a plant, I like to share plants, and I like to get people good stuff. And yeah, this is the actually a different one. This is Amophophallus gigas, not the tiny them. And you can tell easily because it has kind of like a purple stem. That's kind of like a, it's like a really small speck, or it's a weird pattern towards the bottom. But near near the top, it's kind of botched, similar to the titanum. And it's got really complex leaves where if you look at a typical titanum, it'll be more of a greenish tone, more of a tropical look. Or it has really uh, noticeable like a white blotches and a green stem. Sometimes it can be darker at the base, but here are some of the divisions. And as far as if you're wondering how these guys divide, this is actually what happens. For example, I can tell that this little guy at the base is clearly a division off of this guy because of its diameter. It's way smaller than the like mother plant that's coming out. So this basically means that it's not a direct shoot off of this guy. This guy's gonna grow. This guy's probably gonna go dormant and relatively soon there's probably gonna be a bigger shoot that comes off of this guy and this is just a space off of experience because uh, if it's a lot smaller than the mother plant and this is like probably half the diameter of this guy that basically means it's probably not a direct shoot off of it so and here's another example these two are not really big but it's basically shoots that are not directly coming from this mother leaf because a lot of times if they come directly from it the shoots from it are likely going to be bigger than the mother plant but when it does this a lot of times the energy just simply gets divided out and sometimes the mother shoot itself it may not ever produce the shoot but when it does a lot of times it's bigger but this happens more often than you would think and another reason why this may be happening with mine is because the ones that I've been selling just due to natural selection, I've been selling off the ones that have been getting bigger and haven't really been dividing much, but like every time I find one I divide, I uh, happen to be getting more and more of those that tend to have the genetics to divide easily and just keep on splitting. So right now, I'm thinking most, if not all of the plants in my, division, in my collection are from uh, like the ones from the original seedlings that divide really easily like these guys like when two petioles come up like this and they're relatively the same size that means once it goes dormant again or even before that it's gonna make its own new petioles and they're two separate plants already like they're forming their own separate forms right here uh, sometimes they're not really the same size like this one you got one that's about twice the size of the other that happens uh, pretty often right now I think I have about 30 plants 30 titanums but this guy right here this is actually coming right off of this you can kind of tell, it's coming like from the base of the leaf. Well, it's coming directly up off of nothing. It doesn't, like it's not really ankled towards the original petiole. Then it's coming just off of the corm itself, but this is definitely an offshoot of this petiole. So it's not going to be dividable. Same with this guy. This guy's getting bigger, so basically this is just like a continuation and it's going to be like an upsize 
well this guy's just gonna replace this one not it's, it's not like a separate growth and one thing I actually like to do I don't really have it on the album but I put these on because sometimes I don't think, know if it's birds or something but they'll land on the growing tips and they're gonna break them off and sometimes it slows them down it's when they actually grow these little outgrow these clay pots that's why I take them off like this one or this one right here and this one's growing pretty tall it's gonna have a nice leaf off well I fully grown in about another month and this is actually a perfect time for these guys to be growing like towards the end of May into June because if I have a lot of these guys that are coming out of dormancy now they're gonna be up by the time we get a lot of sun and get the most heat because one thing that really makes these guys grow well and store a lot of energy is a lot of heat and plenty of sun. It only makes sense because when they are up during the best time of the year, they're going to get the greatest amount of photosynthesis and store the most amount of energy. So therefore I can get bigger corms and I can eventually end up getting bigger plants. So very possibly I may be getting some giants, like up to two or three inch diameter stems by the end of this year. And the one reason why these plants are not enormous by now is I've simply been sowing off with bigger plants. But I just decided to keep this one because I just wanted to see what I can do with it and see how much bigger I can get. I'm also going to keep my gigas until I actually get some divisions off of it. But yeah, this is actually also from uh, two years ago, 2018. And yeah, it's just gone from being a tiny seed to becoming this big plant, which is probably going to get to three or four feet. It's not even close to it's finished because you can just tell by how soft it is. How its leaves are still growing plenty. Like this guy right here is right around three feet right now. And it could get over four feet, but yeah, that's my Amofo Follows update. Thanks for watching.